2021. Remember this day, my productive and creative friends, you will look back on it as the dawn of a new age. Too much? Probably. But if you are a productive Notion user, it just got real. I've always wanted to say that on film. Nice. Sorry about that. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Better Creating. If you are new here, my name's Simon and this channel is about simplifying creative life. I make videos about simple living, productivity, creating content, being a creative, and particularly, there's quite a lot of stuff on Notion. It was big news this week then for us productive Notion users as they released their new API in beta. It's opening up a whole world of possibilities for syncing, integrating and automating our Notion system with hundreds of other applications and platforms. And yes, it's here, how to sync automatically Google Calendar and a Notion database is finally happening. What's more is I believe this is like Apple allowing the app developers into the App Store. For those of us that code, not me, uh, we will now be able to harness the power of the API to add infinite options and additionality and functionality to the system, it's gonna be absolutely game-changing for the Notion kind of ecosphere, if that's a word. Now look, to that end, I am most definitely a creative person and not a coder. My friends will absolutely mock me and do for that very fact. So hi everyone. Uh, so today, let's look at the possibilities of using the API as a Notion productivity enthusiast, like many of us are. We're gonna see what an API actually is and how you can use it. My favorite integration apps that are out there right now that will help you start to integrate over 200 external applications with your Notion system. I'm gonna show you great examples of how I've been playing with that. So using the API right now by capturing data from an online form into a Notion database. And yes, if you want to see exactly how to create that Google Calendar sync, it's on my very next video, but let's dive into the fundamentals that will help you do all of these things uh, so you can get started. Make sure to hang around to the end of the video as well because we'll be also talking about how this changes Notion and how we use it forever. You might want to know what API actually means. It's short for Application Programming Interface, and basically an API means that it offers commands that other apps can link to and then automate actions from. A good example of an API that I use all the time is uh, how I can sync my Apple calendars to my Google calendars. So now that Notion finally has an API, it means that it can trigger actions, such as adding an event in Google Calendar from your Notion database, yes, and be triggered by apps so that it updates information within the app itself. This means that we can now integrate and use things like Google Sheets, Slack, Gmail, um, and then through programs such as Automate.io or Zapier, hundreds of apps are now available to link into. So for example, I sell my Notion templates on Gumroad, I could um, automatically feed all the emails from those sales into a Notion database and keep track of it all in one place. Pretty cool. So to start with, the API is going to be completely free on all plans on Notion, which is really cool, but it will be limited to a number of automations that can be fired within a certain period of time. And eventually, I think this will be managed based on the level of your plan. So uh, you'll get more uh, usage and more automations that can be fired over a month, say, if you're paying for the premium platforms of uh, usability on Notion. Makes loads of sense, but right now we can start to mess and test ideas out um, within the limitations that are there and see what's possible. Check out developers.notion.com where there's a page breaking down how the code and API can work and instructions for connecting to existing apps that already have um, connections that are in place. Right now, the best way to start exploring the API is using either Automate.io or Zapier. What's great about Automate.io is it will allow multi-action bots, so you know, can fire lots of different things at once, um, for essentially $10 a month, where Zapier, for the equivalent usage, from what I can understand, is around about $20 a month. So at the moment, if you're wanting to use this reasonably intensively, or certainly with something like Notion, where you're gonna be having lots of bits of communication firing across the API, uh, one of those plans you're gonna need, and I would say at the moment, Automate.io is gonna allow you to do that uh, really effectively for the money. Zapier, however, is a brilliant program and I love it. 
Essentially what it does is create zaps from one app that trigger actions in a second. For example, I can create an automation that adds something to my uh, review uh, email newsletter list when someone purchases a Notion template from Gumroad. Let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you a couple of simple examples of how powerful this can be. So, Pepper, shall we start using Automate.io? I think we should. Ow, oh that's nice, she's being nice. So to show you how Automate.io works with Notion, I'm going to create a, a new Google form. Um, it's like sign up to my newsletter, I can embed it in my website. Of course you could use anything else. Type form actually has a direct um, API link already with um, Notion. But here I am creating one um, and we'll use this as an example. So now that I have created uh, the sign up form, um, you'll see I've been testing it out here a little bit. In order to make it work, you have to make sure you click on this and, and create the Google um, spreadsheet. If you haven't created that, you might, won't be able to make the link in Automate.io. So I click on um, the sign up form. Here it is, this is all, where the, all the information will go in. So you'll see here, I've um, been playing around with testing this out and you'll see a really simple database. So this is just to collect some email subscribers, for example, using the form. I've just created a database in Notion. It has the email, then I've changed the first column to email because that'll be the first thing that goes in. First name, last name. I've got this little request a free course um, thing, which I can program in a little bit. And then free course, course requested is a text box which would be basically the multiple choice in that Google form that you can then um, format based on the answers. So do a little if statement and if it's if the text is this, to click this basically, easy. I can format that later on. So now we've made that, we can link the two together. So in Automate.io, here's one I made previously. I'm gonna turn it off and create another one to show you how it works. So we're gonna click create a bot. Um, and we're gonna click, first of all, Google Forms. That's where we wanna start from. I am going to select a trigger event, a new response in the spreadsheet. That basically means once the form has downloaded um, the information to the spreadsheet, uh, this will trigger it to copy it to Notion, essentially. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna click on that. Uh, it's a good example of how to use it. So I wanna find the spreadsheet. Sign up to the newsletter. That's only there because I clicked on that green spreadsheet button. And you have to pick the worksheet, form responses one. Simple. Now, I'm gonna select the action. Obviously, it's Notion. And this basically says, when, when this does this, make this do this. Easy. So, action to be done is add a new page in the database. And the database I want is going to be my test email subscriber list. Now, if you don't see the database, remember what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna need to go into Notion. And from here, you're going to need to click on share and actually invite. You can click invite and you would invite Automate IO. It will turn up there because you've set up the integration. You have to make sure you've done that in order to use it. From here then, we click on the database, pick it, and I can just copy things across. Because I've made the database based on uh, the information that came from the Google form, it's easy to do. So I click first name, that goes into first name. Would you like a free course? That will then just put in the text answer that you get. Last name, email. There you go. We're gonna cl click save, turn it on. Now we wanna test it. So I'm gonna go to my newsletter and I'm going to do a preview. I'm just gonna input a little test. Yes, please, I'd like the free course. I haven't made the free course, but it's an example. That might come at some point. So obviously you could embed this on your website. It's just an example. Obviously there are other forms that you could link to. There are other systems. You just search for the app. Let's see, it's in there. There it is. The question is, has it worked in Automate.io? Click I'm done. Now, you want to see if it's worked? Look at that, proof, congratulations. Your bot is all good. If I go to my Notion page, there it is. Simon test surname. Now, of course, I could also do an automation, which was anyone that's added to my um, email list on like review would then just be documented within Notion, or it might be people that sign up to you in various other apps that you wanna work with or whatever, but how brilliant that we can now automate data input into Notion. So what does this mean for us Notion users? It means that Notion can become from here a genuine central hub for running your life from in a very different way. It's time for us to start to relook at other applications outside of the contained Notion ecosystem, take the best features from wider apps 
and curate our very own bespoke productivity systems that uses more of that power. If you like the idea of that, then make sure you're subscribed, have your notifications turned on because we'll be looking into all of this right here on the channel. If it's already out, click this link and you'll be able to watch the very next video where I take you through the details of using Google Calendar and syncing it using the API with Notion. Make sure to hit the like button, it goes a long way. I'd love it if you left some comments and it would be of course amazing if you subscribed. I'll see you on the next video.